Night Dreams Talk Radio After Dark wants to give a big shout out to all the truckers that listen to our show. If you would like to hear Night Dreams Talk Radio on your local radio station, let them know. Tell them to check out www.nightdreamstalkradio.com and thank you. Night Dreams Talk Radio Network brings you the world paranormal news with James Creechbaum. Now, the latest news. I'm James Creechbaum with the paranormal and world changes news. The extraterrestrial highway sign has returned shiny and new. It was taken down during the whole rush Area 51 phenomena because they was afraid that everybody likes to park there and, and take pictures with the old sign, and they was afraid of traffic jams and because and, they knew the influx of the people there. Now, the, new, the old sign was so covered with stickers you couldn't even really see the sign. The new sign is brand new. It only has a, a silhouette of a uh, stealth fighter, and it doesn't have the UFO on it anymore, but it's been returned. Also, a British politician steps down over alien claims. Apparently, the uh, politician claims to be uh, an alien uh, themselves and claim to be from from Sirius. So anyway, with all these reports, and and I guess they were an author also, and it it claims in in their bio that uh, they believe in fairies and all these other things, which can be detrimental to a politician. Uh, I, don't, I mean, at least here, I don't know about the UK, but anyway, they pulled out and and of the uh, running because of all these claims. Also, there is a glitch in the matrix or teleportation. Tree suddenly grows inside a car. Now, there's been pictures circulating all through the internet of this tree that looks like it just popped up and grew instantly overnight through this car. Now, personally, I don't believe that is possible. I believe it's some kind of a you know a hoax of some sort. I don't believe a tree could just grow overnight and up through a car. I mean, it's it's very compelling pictures, but however, I just I don't I don't buy it personally. But that's one of the the big things that's been going around glitching the system with this tree growing through a car. Um, also, an estimated three hundred and fifty koalas co- um, are feared dead in the Australian fires. And we were talking about that earlier. The flyers are rushing through. They're killing all kind of animals. Uh, there was one lady who stopped along the road who took her shirt right off her back, walked right up and and, and put it around the uh, koala and and saved the poor animal. But there's so many uh, lost lives of animals and and forests through these these big fires that's going on through Australia right now. It's just awful. Uh, also, there's been a uh, Video surfacing about a Bigfoot that charges toward a boy in this footage. I don't know what to make of this footage, but the boy is, he's, I don't know, doing a little searching or just, you know, what boys do in the woods. He's got a flashlight. He comes up on this thing. You can see it in the video. It kind of charges like a mock charge at him. Scared. I, I, the boy legitimately is scared. I know that. Now, whether somebody was trying to trick him or whatever, I do know the video is not very clear. Of course, the old scenario, the old fuzzy video when you can't see nothing. But that happened just last week also. Also, a uh, weird cloud formation sparks UFO speculation. There was a cloud that, that was circular and it uh, through the big massive cloud. So it looked like a UFO shape went right up through the clouds. Now, uh, they don't think that was in North Carolina. Again, it doesn't say if it was UFO or not. I, I do know formations like that do happen. So that's probably what it was, just natural thing. Anyway, the next news, top of the hour. If you would like to hear Night Dreams Talk Radio on your local radio station, let them know. Tell them to check out www.nightdreamstalkradio.com and thank you. You can advertise your business on Night Dreams Talk Radio and you will be heard worldwide. Why not contact us at nightdreamstalkradio at gmail.com. Coming to you from some far point station, like a cosmic tumbleweed, both north and south of the Pleiades, here's your host, Gary Anderson. And that is me. Boy, that thunder tonight is so bad. And let's get our guest on the line here. We're going to get uh, Alan on, and uh, we're going to talk to him as soon as we get him on the line. And I think Alan is right there. Hi, Alan. 
Hello, Gary. Well, how you doing? It's been a long time since we had you on Night Dreams Talk Radio After Dark. What have you been up to? Uh, tours, uh, investigations, uh, same old Gary and mysterious Santa Fe or uh, metaphysical New Mexico. Oh, wow. Well, why don't you tell everybody your whole name about some of your books you wrote? Uh, you What did acting? You done a Man, I'll tell you what. If anybody is cracking in this world, you are. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gary. Well, a little bit about me. My name is Alan Pacheco. I live in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I run a uh, ghost tour business, private tours, walking tours, and also a history tour business. And I also do investigations. Uh, my website that has a tremendous amount of information from UFOs to cattle mutilation to ghost here, ghost stories here in Santa Fe, that's uh, Santa Fe Ghost and History Tours dot com. And uh, gosh, what else can I tell you? I've my books. You can get them on Amazon. Uh, they're ghost stories. They're conspiracy uh, themes, be it from the RFK assassination to. Uh, Gosh, Flight 19 and, uh, you know, that big mystery off of uh, the Florida Peninsula to uh, stories here in New Mexico. And, yes, I, do, I am a sag after actor, and I do uh, film, radio, TV. So there you go, Gary. <laughs> well, how do, you, how do you have all these fires going at the same time? I mean, what got you into acting? Let's start there. I mean, here you are. You're, what year, uh, well, did you start acting and... How old were you? Well, I, I, I'm not going to give you my, my year. That's right. No, you're young. Yeah. You're, definitely, uh, but, you're uh, young. Uh, you're young. Okay. All right. Thank you. I, I'll, 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 I'll take that. Yes. Uh, I got into acting. Uh, gosh. Uh, well, I was always very interested in film dumb, and, uh, but everything that I had read, uh, come to find on out, was, was nonsense. And on one Western, he said, hey, uh, you know, they're giving uh, guys who know how to uh, ride horses X amount of money as an extra. And uh, if you know how to shoot, uh, I said, what, what do you mean shoot? Well, you got to hold the rifle the correct way. We're going to be using blanks. Okay, sign me on up. So <laughs> I worked on a, a terrible Western uh, playing both sides, uh, Cav Trooper and, uh, you know, Ciboletto. And uh, then I, uh, from there I said, wow, uh, uh, you can make X amount of money uh, just saying this line or that line in, in front of the camera. And, of course, I was always enchanted with uh, filmdom. So I ended on up auditioning. I got one part, and I didn't have an agent. And then I ended on up getting an agent so I could make more money, and uh, that's how it went. I wish I could tell you, Gary, that I have been on some wonderful films that are going to last the – uh, the test uh, going to pass the test of time, maybe in like something along the lines of uh, a tale of two cities, which is made in '35, and people still watch it, or Bo Jess in '39. But no, uh, my films that I've done, uh, well, even though they'll maybe A grade type of films, they're in my opinion not the best. And uh, the films where I'm really able to emote, those are going to be Z grade type of films, and be only get shown in India or. Siam or someplace like that with uh, A-list films. I'll have a small part and I'll have a line like the fire extinguishers are on the wall or <laughs> follow me or something to that effect. Interesting. Have you done any TV shows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done uh, TV. I, no, what I, have I, you I, done in TV? Intrigue uh, well, me. Here, come on. Okay. Well, uh, okay. Breaking Bad, I had a small role in that. What did you do? Uh, okay, what did you do in your small role, Breaking Bad? That's one of my uh, favorite would, shows. Okay. You know that. Uh, well, I'll be in the in the, in the trivia uh, uh, questions later on down the road, uh, years from now. I'm uh, listed in the pilot, in the first episode, and the last episode. Uh, I was uh, Cranston's uh, pal, and I was uh, the math genius there. And um, different stories about that, about how it all went. But one of the ideas or one of the things that was told to me by my late agent was, you know, uh, this, he's going to be your, the conscience uh, telling Cranston not to go bad. Well, that didn't happen, and uh, they changed things right away, and Cranston went bad. And uh, that's just one little tidbit. Um, 
maybe I got the wrong information, but that's what I was uh, led to believe. Uh, another TV series, uh, gosh, let me think. Uh, um, I tell you, one one film. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, go ahead, there, Gary. Let's let, let's let's not talk about film or we want to do documentary about paranormal. I, I'm your man there, but you know. Uh, the other stuff of Hollywood uh, for another show. How's that? Okay. Well, I, I will say you should do Sal. Uh, anyway, you know, he's my type of attorney. But anyway, <laughs> well, okay. he is. Yes. Yeah, so you get what you pay for, right? Oh, that's right. You got to have uh, know the guy who has the loopholes and uh, has the dirt on the other people. Sadly, that's the way our justice system is a lot of ways uh, and a lot of in many, many ways today. Yeah. So what do you think is going on? I, I don't know if you heard the show at all before I, I called you, but, you know, I was talking about an experience I had. And I tell you, I, first time ever admitting it to anybody out outside my own family. And it's still scary with ghosts and stuff like that. I, anything exciting going on, you know, with your ghost tours? Uh, any sightings of any ghost or anything strange going on? And then we'll go into some of the stories you've told in the past. We're on 22 radio stations, by the way, uh, plus the Internet. And so you're, you know, this is going to get out here tonight. Okay. Well, I, gosh, yeah, uh, on my uh, ghost tours, we've had some activity at different spots. Uh, where things have been uh, photographed, where things have been picked up on meters. Uh, uh, yeah, this is not, how do you say, uh, a trick of double exposure or of light flash or aperture failure. Uh, gosh, uh, on an investigation up there in the Pecos Triangle, we had uh, this really, really strange contact at the spot of where Emma Tresp disappeared. I had mentioned to you that I was going to go back up into the triangle and do an investigation out up there, and this happened over the Labor Day weekend. We were, I guess I might as well get into that, and then we get into uh, ghosts in Santa Fe. Is that all right there, Gary? That is really groovy. Yeah, what's going on there? What's happening at the triangle? Okay, well, uh, to those that are uh, not clued in, there's a place east of Santa Fe, and the slang name for it is the Pecos Triangle. It gets its name after uh, the Bermuda Triangle, where people disappear. And in this area, there's UFO activity, there's people have seen shades, heard voices, and uh, people have disappeared into uh, thin air. Now, this Emma Tresp uh, vanishing uh, Emma was a world-class traveler. She had been all around the world. She was uh, on her way to take a, uh, gosh, go to a monastery and spend a couple of days there at the monastery in Pecos. They have a, a, a term for that, a retreat. And she'd been there uh, a few times before. And she does not get to the monastery. Uh, nobody knows what happened to her. And days later, they find her car on this dirt road, uh, there uh, in Pecos, that's this small town uh, east southeast of Santa Fe, and uh, her, none of her luggage has been gone through, none of her money has been taken, and there's just some footprints that, of hers that goes around the car. If you do, do not go on up the road or down the road or to the side, etc., just around the car, nothing there. And uh, I'm, so they get the uh, state police county police to get searchers, to get search dogs. Uh, they go on. 